So we're here as well to speak to the Jewish community about the importance of solidarity at these times. Uh, the people of Israel are suffering. They are worried every time that they go to a bus station whether or not they're going to be attacked with a knife or with perhaps even a crazy driver who's going to run them over. We, as the members of the Jewish community in, the, in Canada, need to stand up for Israel and show our support and our solidarity. We've come today to Ottawa to express solidarity with Israel and to share as well to express to the Palestinian Authority to send the message, stop the incitement, stop the lies, stand up, declare terrorism is wrong, murder is wrong, peace is what we're looking for. The, uh, the recent events in Israel again demonstrate the resistance to peace that continues to persist in the Palestinian community and particularly in the Palestinian Authority. The Jewish community of Canada stands shoulder to shoulder with the citizens of the State of Israel while they are under assault by this terrible spate of stabbings and other brutal acts of terrorism. We stand shoulder to shoulder with Israel, we support Israel 100%, and the message must go out strongly and in a unified way that the incitement for the Palestinian Authority has to come to an end. They and they alone are responsible for this violence. Our connection with Israel stands so deep. When tragedy happens in Israel, it pains us to our very core, and we are here to make that message loud and clear. Rabbi Adam Shire from Congregation Shire Shemayim in Montreal, we come today to Ottawa to the Palestinian General Delegation to deliver a letter to the, to the Palestinian government and to deliver a letter that sends the message that uh, enough with the terror, enough with the incitement, enough with the lies, we need to stand together. The whole world needs to stand united against, against terror. Uh, the issue of Palestinian incitement and the continuous lies about about the victims, about the Al-Aqsa Mosque, about, about the Temple Mount. They need to stop. The world needs to stand together in peace. I'm Rabbi Ruben Pupko, uh, Rabbi of the Beth Israel Beth Aaron Congregation in Montreal, co-chair of the Canadian Rabbinic Caucus. We're here today to deliver a letter protesting the deliberate incitement of the Palestinian Authority in Mahmoud Abbas. Terrorism is not an amorphous force that just comes and springs out spontaneously. Terrorism has a name, terrorism is an address. It's Mahmoud Abbas and the Palestinian Authority that are directly responsible for inciting the violence and the murderous attacks on Israelis in their streets and in their buses. The incitement must come to an end. If Mahmoud Abbas is serious about peace as he says he is, incitement is a direct contradiction to all aspirations for peace on both sides of the divide. Rabbi Chaim Steinmetz of Congregation Tzvareth Beth David Jerusalem in Montreal. Uh, of course, we're here to protest incitement, and I think that the point is very, very direct. The Palestinian Authority cannot educate for hatred and intolerance and expect there to be peace and love. Israel has been searching for peace for its entire existence, and what the PA has been doing consistently is it's been giving a message to its own people of intolerance, of hatred. When Abbas gets up in the UN, and talks about how the Jews are desecrating the Temple Mount, that is essentially a call to violence. And unfortunately, in the past two weeks, we have seen this violence erupt. What we are here to say is that it's time for the Palestinian Authority to lead, to lead towards peace, to lead towards tolerance, and to meet Israel in this quest for peace and bring peace to the Middle East. It's Rabbi Yidan Sher of Congregation Machzike Adas, here together with rabbinic colleagues from Montreal. We are here today to deliver a letter to the Palestinian General Delegation protesting the Palestinian Authority's incitement that has led to the terrible terrorism of the past lot in the State of Israel. Our connection with the State of Israel runs so deep that when such tragedies happen, they pain us to our very core. And we ask, what is it that we can do to help? What is it that we can do to respond? And the truth is there are many things that we can do and most beautifully enumerated on the CJA website, www.cija.ca, is the take action link. Click on that link, you'll find so much that we can do, so much to share in the pain of the state of Israel and so much to make our voices heard in an effort to stop these tragedies and an effort to stop this violence. Gentlemen, please join me. Let's, uh, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.